Welcome back to more Pokemon Heart Gold. So last time, we went south of Pallet Town, and at last to the unfortunately destroyed Cinnabar Island. And yeah, we're probably going to be taking a trip to see for Mars, but not before we do something else. So off screen, I also did bonus password and um, the berry pots, so no need to worry about those. Because, yeah, I did fill out the unknown report. Like you see there, we have caught 26 different kinds of unknowns. So I'm going to go and show those. And yeah, these are the orders I caught them all in, if you are curious. So yeah. There they all are. Alright, now let's go ahead and show these to the dudes at the ruins of us. So yeah. We're not quite done with catching unknown, I believe. I think there are still two different kinds, but I'm actually not 100% sure how to get them, but I guess we'll see. In this part, because I did do a little bit of research, but anyway, let's go in here. And talk to these people. Huh? I seem to be doing nothing? Come on, I mean, I look like it, but I don't want to divert the unknown report. You have to hear this, this is a big discovery. It was you who solved the stone panel puzzle that unknown up here. Those tablets are the key to waking up unknown. Still, why would anyone make such a key? And we opened the unknown report and made notes. Another one. If you turn on the radio in the ruins, you can receive mysterious radio waves. It's true that unknown communicate with each other using radio waves. Alright. There are as many unknown as there are letters in the alphabet. There have been 26 types confirmed. Why do you collect them all? So there you go. I'll also show those two. You have figured out that unknown are in a certain order. Let me see your report. There, put the unknown in the correct order. We are, may be able to tell more about them. So yeah, there we go. What? You found a room with unknown symbols? That is a big discovery. We'll study them right away. So there you go. Alright, so we found a lot though. So let's open up our unknown report. So now it's in alphabetical order. As you see there. And yeah, I guess I can read these. So yeah, I found a strange puzzle in the ruins, sold and suddenly a hole open in the ground I dropped into the room below. Should have known that Asia roots have surprising tricks like that. The stone statue I fell, the place might have been a reception hall. Then suddenly the unknown appeared. That puzzle is like a key somehow. What the unknown up from their sleep? These runes have become difficult. Turn on the radio in the ruins, you can receive the stage radio waves. A pretty the unknown can be with each other using radio waves. Yeah, that's, um... I did that to capture all the 26 different kinds. So there you go. There's many unknown as there are less than the other vet. Right now I can find the existence of 26 kinds of unknown. Do you think you can find all 26 of them? Yep. Seems that individual doesn't make much sense, but when the various unknown are arranged in order, they begin to make sense. In nature, they seem to be scattered around randomly, but the truth is that they're arranged in a very specific order. In this report, the scanner was sorted and put into order by the reset center staff. Thanks to them, much easier to understand. And then, scratched on the floor, the ruins are unknown layers. Finding the room feels like a huge discovery. The researchers are very excited and said they were going to go check it out. Alright. What about you? My staff at the ruins exchange that is excellent. The research makes good progress, absolutely no effort on my part. If you have any questions, feel free to talk to my staff. So, there you go. So, yeah, now. I think we can maybe find the last two unknown forms that are missing. I guess we'll have a look. What you gotta say? But yeah, there's the photographer again. I think, yeah, actually, I know what I need to do now. I think what I need to do now is I need to go and look at the different words. And you know what? I'll do that. But yeah, the only problem is I will need strength. So yeah, I guess this is going to be like a big Runes of Valve part then. So let me go get strength and I'll meet you guys back up. So I believe now probably the next thing they want me to do is check down here. Because yeah, each... The areas of the items and stuff, each one has our... Um, or has some words in greater. So our clan engraved words in this place. So yeah, there you go. Probably gonna need a lot of coming for this because yeah, the other two are in the um, Union Cave section, so yeah. I wonder if yeah, doing this will give the um, scientists something new. Because they are already got the unknown here, so that's fine. 
But yeah, there's a lot more to this than I thought there was gonna be, so yeah, that's kinda interesting. But yeah, if there's anything... If he doesn't say anything new, that means yeah, I probably need to go check all of them. So yeah, that looks like the case. But yeah, the next one, all we need to do is surf downwards. And the other ones, they're in the ruins of... Well, not ruins of our... They're... Oh, I missed a call. Um, they are... We need <laughs> to go through Union Cape is what I'm trying to say there. So yeah. Because yeah, this one, we could just surf and then it leads to Because yeah, I don't think I did do this because yeah, I just want to solve the puzzle. I also need to buy more puzzles, right? So yeah, our clan created Pokemon statue outside. Is I think what it says. So there we go. Now I need to go for the Union Cave section. See, so yeah, that's going to take me a while. I think also I'm going to go buy more repels as well. So yeah, again, I think we have to cut here. So here's the ho -Oh one. So... I forget. What is this I'm trying to say? Uh, we humans need to wait or walk with them. We... L-E-A... What could that be? Leave here for the sake of them. Alright. One more to go. And hopefully this will unlock something new. I hope. I might need to look up um, the runs off a little bit more. Because yeah, this is actually my first time like actually, you know, unlocking a lot of things. But anyway, now I need to make the walk through Union Cave again. That's okay. It is what it is. And this is the last one I solved. They possess power to sense with mind and... I think that's R-E-L-E-G-T. Maybe regret? I was so sure. Mind and regret outside. I don't know. I don't think that's supposed to be regret. What was it respect? I'm not so sure. They possess power to sense with mind and relect. What is that one again? Let me have a look. Maybe this will help me out. So... It's C, I think. So... Maybe it is relaxed. Mind the relaxed outside. Or maybe reflect. I'm not so sure. <laughs> that word is um, a little bit hard for me, but anyway. Again, hopefully, yeah, this is unlocked by everything. In the Ruins of Alf, I hope. If not, then yeah, I'm gonna have to look it up. But again, this is my first time actually completing this area. The only time I've caught the, all the unknown was in Platinum because the reward is pretty basic. Well, it's pretty easy to understand, but here it's a lot more difficult, so yeah. <laughs> That's a dang shot, but it's a lot more interesting at the same time, so yeah. So let's go in here. Yep. You have to hear this. This is a big discovery. We have found two new unknown symbols. It means that there must be two more kinds of unknown somewhere. There we go. So now we need to go catch those. So let's go in the unknown report. And see what that says. There aren't just 26, 26 different kinds of unknown. Two more have been discovered. But that begs the question of those of where those other two kinds are hiding. So yeah, let's go catch these. They're just simple quick balls, so yeah. Let me see, what is this? I think this might be the area. This is the mysterious hole, apparently. Ah. 
that's new. Hmm, when did this appear? I wonder what these symbols mean. Hey, let's go back to the research center. The symbols on the stone pile are like this. Our friends look up and... Here... That one's so. It's H-E-A-R here. T-I-L-Y. Healthy? Maybe? <laughs> Again, I'm not so sure. Congratulate us. I wonder what it means. We can extend the runes once again. So there we go. Sam, we probably need to go back there again. Yeah, this is really cool. This feels like I'm like uncovering like some secret conspiracy or something like that. It's kind of funny when you think about it like that. The re say so yeah, there it is again. Again, I <laughs> not such a thing. So yeah, grab this fan scratch on the floor in the small room are transcribed here in this report. We don't know what this could possibly mean yet. The researchers are saying that they'll need to extend the runes again, but... Let's have a look in that room again, probably. That's what I would do, so yeah. I really wish I could read these, but again, I can't remember the unknown symbols off the top of my head. So yeah. I probably should have had the alphabet close by. Oh, the music is different. Okay, we can't check that. And there we go. We can now find wild Pokemon here. And yeah, of course, this is going to be the question mark and the exclamation mark. So yeah. So now all we need to do is... But yeah, I should mention yeah, I believe the question mark and the exclamation mark, they are new to this game. Because I'm pretty sure that in the original Gen 2 games, it was just the alphabet. So yeah, I believe these are added in Gen 3, I believe, so yeah. Which would then mean they were in the Tanobi key, I think. But yeah, we found the question mark, let's find that exclamation mark, and then we're done. I'm pretty sure. I don't think there is much else we can do, but yeah, there's another question mark. It's kind of weird that, yeah, there's a question mark and an exclamation mark. I mean, yeah, you do need your punctuation sometimes, so yeah. I guess it can't make sense. But yeah, find another one. It's a 50-50, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Or, you know, I could... Maybe the Pokegear can help us out here. Let's have a look. Yes, it can. Maybe. <laughs> Again, the mysterious transmission, if you don't know, what it does is, yeah, it makes it so that the unknown forms you haven't encountered yet are more likely to appear. And it sounds kind of creepy too, but anyway. And yeah, looks like it worked, because, yeah, we found the estimation mark. I will need to put these into the correct spawn PC, but that's okay. So yeah, this should be another quick pull. And yeah, we've done it. We've sold the Ruins of Alpha, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So yeah. There it goes. So yeah, we caught all 28 different kinds of unknown, and this is the first time I've done it in Hardcore, so that's cool. Again, like I said, I've only done this in Platinum. So yeah, now let's go show him that our new and approved unknown report. Because yeah, now we have 28 different kinds. We're learning more and more about the symbols on the floor. Seems that unknown were living at the ruins of the human clan. It is thought that this clan made the Pokemon statues in the ground. The unknown were easily scared and won't go outside. When more and more people started to appear around the ruins, the clan that wished to live in harmony with the unknown eventually left. Thanks to our research and your help, we have unraveled so much about the mystery. There's so many things we don't know left, of course. Archaeology never ends. So there we go. That's the last note. And that's it. We've done the mystery. So yeah. Oh, uncovered the mystery. So yeah, now we have 28 different kinds. And yeah, we've got question mark and exclamation mark there. Let's go to that last bit, which will be here. 
In the past, seen as the unknown lived with relatives of humans in these ruins. In the lower levels of these ruins is a Pokemon statue. Come to understand that it was those relatives who made that statue. The unknown are very timid creatures, they don't go outside the ruins. Even if a bunch of people gathered in the ruins, it is said that the ones who wish for unknown and humans uh wish for unknown and humans to to again close this have all left. So there you go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I also need to put away my um Hey, this guy is some new dog. I managed to unravel quite a lot of the mischief unknown with your help. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Very nice. <laughs> and this guy, yo. But yeah, that's not the end though. I think in one of the last parts though, there is something I will talk about the ruins of Alf. It's something very, very cool, although I don't think I can show it. There probably is a way I can show it, but yeah, I'm not so sure what that is. Of course, that's related to an event, let's just say. So yeah, I will talk about that because it's kind of cool. And I'll also talk about it alongside another event too. I think, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to be doing in that part, so yeah. So anyway, here's the question mark. And yeah, we can just put these at the... like so. And there you go, that's my unknown box. But yeah, let's go back to box 18. Because, yeah, I now want to put back, um, Jung. And yeah, with this, um, mystery unraveled, let's go to Cinnabar. Maybe I'll talk more about this, too. Because, again, it was actually quite interesting to try doing this for the first time, so yeah, I think that might be a main topic. I might talk about some other things, too. While I'm, you know, just buying trains, because, yeah, I feel like, yeah, that's what I'm mostly doing now with these. Trainers because yeah again. There's no new Pokemon at all about basically and yeah we're just and that's the main reason why we're just going to the roots to begin with. We're not really I mean yeah we haven't been to see for moments of course, but yeah. It's not like, you know <laughs> I mean yeah, we haven't been there yet, but yeah, you get the idea. We basically explored everywhere except um this sea route. And yeah, there probably are a decent amount of war type trainers to fight. But back in Cinnabar. Uh, team should be all in order now. Yeah, let's get going. I also bought our repels too, so yeah, we should be fine to just, you know, <laughs> keep going. I could also support max repels because, yeah, my money is that good, but yeah. For some reason, though, I just want to keep up with the super repels, even though, yeah, technically max repels would be so much better for a playthrough. You get interrupted less, but it's okay. But anyway, Route 20. Does Route 20 have any items? It actually does. There's three items and they need the dance machine. So, yeah. Probably need to start using this. First off, let's fight some trainers. So yeah, what you gotta say? Found it! A trainer that can enjoy fighting. So this is a bird keeper though, so yeah. Maybe I'll just fight the trainers first and then go find these canines. But we've got Bert here with his Winkle. Which yeah, luckily I can go for. Nice seed bomb. So yeah, the ruins of Alpha. Yeah, like I said, it isn't like too special because again, you don't, it's basically just catching the unknown and getting more, and you get some items on the way. Some of them are kind of useful. Like, yeah, I did like getting that life orb and leopard berry thanks to um, doing the Ho-Oh puzzle, but yeah, that's really all you get. Like, everything else is pretty basic stuff. I mean, actually, no, the moonstone that you get from the second puzzle is actually really nice. I only need that for a seven flash, I'm pretty sure, so yeah. So once I get those, yeah, that's a pretty simple <laughs> thing to get. And yeah, you can definitely just catch all the unknown as soon as you get stuff I'm pretty sure too, because yeah, I decided not to do that. I wanted to actually solve the puzzle in the back room. We lost all my strength, but yeah, it does seem like, yeah, you can just catch all the unknown. And considering the order of the um, report, it does seem like they intend for you to catch the unknown first. And if you don't know, solving those sliding puzzles, that's what makes more unknown forts appear. So yeah. Which again, that's kind of interesting. It's probably a lot better than what happened in Platinum, because in Platinum, you find the letters for friend on the main route, and then in the sub rooms, you basically find everything else. So yeah, that's kind of painful. It's basically just a long grind until you catch what you know. But luckily, yeah, in this game though, it's a bit easier because you have the mysterious transmissions. So yeah, I guess it's a plus of some all the way to Jodo. Yeah, it's like crossing the entire sea. I think some people have done that, like, crossing entire, like, seas, like the English Channel or something like that, but yeah. Again, it's not something a regular person can do, so yeah. 
They're gonna go for a turn and use Dana Glad, so yeah, to have the Brutes as well. Um, yeah, like I said though, yeah, it is. it definitely felt more convenient to capture all the unknown in this game when compared to Platinum, so that's nice. In every end, it technically took me longer, but yeah. You can never catch all of them as soon as you get set if you want, but yeah, you probably want to wait until the Pokeball or Quick Balls become available. With the Safari Zone. Because yeah, then, um, yeah, it becomes very easy to just catch them. Because they're all the unknown, they go down one Quick Ball, basically. <laughs> I don't know what I was going with that. I'm pretty sure this first is just like underneath the water, but anyway. We got Mina here with a Love Disc, yes! But anyway. But yeah, that's unknown too. And yeah, of course, you're basically just catching them you know, just because, because again, unknown. Even though, like, yeah, a lot of the Pokemon essentially state that something cool will happen, you put them all together. It doesn't really mean much. It's just kind of a lore thing. I think maybe there's something like that in the TC tree, because yeah, there are actually some good unknown cards. There's also some very bad ones too, but yeah. It's definitely a card that's, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it relates to actually having all the unknown, it's just you need to you need to basically do a specific effect, and then they have a powerful effect. Something like that. I mean that's how some of the newer unknown cards are, but uh, they're interesting. I remember when I was looking at some videos about the TSG, so yeah. Same, we've got Becca here, so yeah, we're gonna probably fight a non type Pokemon, maybe. Probably not though. When I was a kid, I only played inside the house. Now I love playing outside with Pokemon. Now there's something kind of cool about Pokemon, especially the Pokewalker, which I haven't actually talked about that much. But yeah. And yeah, you, I was right, she does have his shoes. So yeah. And it does unfortunately have a terminate for me. And yeah, good, might get hurt badly there, but let's see. Hey, back to your uh, roots about. Yeah, again, the unknown don't do anything, so she basically just catch them because more reasons. You basically learn more about the lore of the Runes of Alf, which yeah, I didn't actually know about it until now. It's really interesting, to be honest. Here's another Burkeeper, and yeah, if I was a guessing man, I feel like the Hinoise are Brenda. Hey, hey, will he bow me? I mean, they could be on the water, so yeah, that's why I kind of want to clear up the trainers first. We've got Ernie here, with his Starly. That's a cool Pokemon. I mean, I used it in the Platinum playthrough, so yeah, it better be a cool Pokemon. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, Star Up is definitely one of my favorite, if not my favorite, regional birds, so yeah. That's why I used them Empire, so yeah. That was pretty incredible. To be honest, I, I kind of wished I used, um, Swellow when I played, um... I kind of wish I used Swellow when I played Emerald at the same time. One of the knives are here, so I'll probably just go get them. Again, the land is where I would check first. And yeah, there's a Stardust. Then I check the wall later. Anyway, Gurse is all play right. Alright. And yeah, Gurse still level 54, so I keep using them. And yeah, I want to keep checking to see if there's any trainers on the water that we potentially missed. I don't think there are, but yeah. Nah. We just need to keep something and keep playing out the your policy. Yeah, I can't wait for Black and White 2 where um, you can use Repel and me. But yeah, all that, like, yeah, <laughs> it sounds like, yeah, I regret a lot of my decisions in the Emerald playthrough because saying that, yeah, I wish I also used Giraffric in that playthrough and then I didn't, so yeah. Oh well, I mean, what are you gonna say? Look, it's my very best Sunset, my very best Pokemon. Okay. Um, but hey, that's okay. I guess that could give me a reason to do arrest. I could do. Oh, a Beedoof? Okay. That could give me some reason to do arrest because then I can fix what is right and use this Pokemon I want to use, but it's okay. I mean, I, are, I am using Graphic here, so yeah, there's no need to use it again. I'll use Akron and arrest as well, because that's a Pokemon I've been told that is pretty decent. It is that, yeah, I have problems. Adding it to a team because it's none of the types I want. Although then again, like when thinking about the firewall of grass call, I don't always need a fire type, so yeah, I can always like, ditch her. But anyway, we got Pitnico here. Are you in a hurry? How about a quick battle break? So I'm gonna see that sunny items are where the um sea for my so yeah. 
is a Shroomish. Seiya can go for the nice, um, drop back line. I actually find some Kakko Pokemon in the street, Seiya. Hey, about to, yeah, talking about the runes of art. Yeah, there's not much else to say about it, I think. Although, yeah, I'm covering the mystery, though. It did seem kind of cool. Because even though I haven't watched, like, Indiana Jones, I believe it's what it's called. And yeah, the gym is so, so yeah. It kind of, you know, gives me that feeling of, you know, uncovering that mystery, like I said. Like I was kind of saying before. The air sea from islands. This takes you to the gym, I believe. Yes, it does. So yeah, we'll worry about this in another part. But yeah, probably what I need to do here is... Let's go search for hidden items, and then we're gonna take the fuchsia side, because, yeah... I don't want to go through the sea just yet. Yeah, I kind of want to make that its own episode, so yeah. Because, yeah, there's something in the sea islands that I want to do, so yeah. Let's... Dowels. It's also kind of big too, so yeah. And yeah, I was right, some hidden items are here, including the Deep Sea Tooth. That's a strange item. It boosts the special attack of Clampel. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it boosts the special attack of Clampel, but it's also used to evolve Clampel as well. So that's kind of interesting. I think I might get Clampel in this game, to be honest, but yeah. Seems like it's on the other side, so that's good to know. Alright, let's fly to Fuchsia then. And I see, yeah, now we know where the gym is. It's kind of in an annoying spot, but yeah, it's not that bad for repels, so yeah. I mean, let's keep going. We did have to make a lot of cuts early in this part, so yeah, we can keep going. But we're also gonna heal. But yeah, like I said, it was kind of cool to get that <laughs> exploration itch out of the way. Or, like, mystery solving. Thing, because yeah, I did talk about a few parts ago. Yeah, I do like Ace Attorney, so yeah. Solving the mysteries of that game was pretty cool as well. I mean, I kind of like doing that in a lot of games too. Like yeah, in fact, one of the games I'm playing right now, or the game I'm playing right now, Chosen Zero, that game is all about, you know, solving mysteries, so yeah. I guess, yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe I like the Ruins of because of that too. The Beast to Route 19 is closed indefinitely due to the Cinnabar Games of Motion. I wanted the people of Cinnabar safe. Ah, I see. See, you can't go here. I have removed the boulder that was in the way, but it may still take some time to find the ground. Sorry, this road is closed for construction. If you want to get to Cinnabar, you better go south from Power Town. So, there you go. That makes a lot of sense. But anyway, that means then that, yeah, we need to go through Sea for Mines if we're going to get to, um,. When you get through, um, Sea from Islands, if we're going to, you know, explore the rest of Route 19. So I think what I'm gonna do... You know what? Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll cut again. Because, yeah, I will need to do that. Alright, back in Sea from Islands. Let's see if we can find the other way up. Oh, we need to in this place. That's not a good sign. <laughs> I mean, I have a plan. I, I mean, I want to see plan. I do have a substitute for strength, and yeah, guess what? They're gonna need strength. So, yeah, what we can do is we can give it to. I'm pretty sure that um, Quake can learn strength. So, yeah, we can use this as a substitute for its last teacher move. Which, again, I'm gonna hope it can learn. And yeah, I'm not, I haven't actually been able to use Explosion at all, but that's okay. Actually, that reminds me of something. I think that's something we could do. That's... We haven't actually checked out another area of Kanto, actually. Maybe I'll make that a thing I do in this part, but anyway. We need to use strength here, so we can move this boulder out of the way. I bleed the rest, too. But all we really care about is going up, so yeah. And yeah, I'm not actually going to explore Seaver Mars just yet. I think I'm going to wait on that. And yeah, we need to use strength some more. If we can. Again, we'll worry about Super Mines later, because, yeah, it's kind of a long dungeon like it is usually. It is a bit different, though, so, yeah, and again, there is something way for us at the bottom, so, yeah. And, yeah, it isn't that bad. All you need is strength. And, yeah, like I said, we aren't using Explosion anyway, so might as well just give it to Quake. 
that means we can continue exploring Route 20. And I can do what I want in this part, so that's nice. And yeah, I guess in the next part what I'll do is we'll fight um, Blaine and we'll also explore the Sifa Mines. I think that's going to be our plan of attack. Anyway, have you gone camping with Pokemon? There is something we can talk about though. Route 19 actually has a new encounter. We're a swarm and he is for it too. That is Clampel. Yeah, the Pokemon I just mentioned a little bit ago. Yeah, it's a strange Pokemon. Because, yeah, it can use the Deep Sea Tooth and the Deep Sea Scale to boost its damage by quite a bit. I'm pretty sure that the Deep Sea Tooth actually doubles its special attack or something like that. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, the main thing I'm using those for are the, um... <laughs> you're strong. The main reason why I'm using those is evolving it into Huntail and Gorbis. They're very strange Pokemon and not that good in my opinion, but they have some funny niches. Mainly in the next generation, but yeah, I believe both of them get Swiss Swim, which is actually a really kind of nice, because they both hit kind of hard, and Huntail, um... Huntail is actually a physical attacker, Gorb is a special attacker. I might actually look at their stats again, because again, I can't remember what the stats are like, but at the same time, I don't. Phew, one of my best swimsuit trunks. Alright then, anyway, while I do that, yeah, let me look at Clamper's stats again. Because again, it's not a Pokemon I remember very well. Is a Cedra, and I believe this is what the deep sea scale is going to be. But yeah, now we need to take out Cedra, which does have actually pretty good physical defense, so yeah. It could definitely, it could probably take a turn. Unless it's, you know, the level difference makes a big difference. Yeah, I was right. And it was Brian. And yeah, there is Clampel. I guess we'll look at Huntil first again. I'll look at stats again because, again, I don't remember them off the top of my head very well, so yeah. Once again, normally it's a trade with the Deep Sea Tooth and Deep Sea Scale to get these two, but yeah, I'm pretty sure in my case it's just level up with those two things, so yeah. Anyway, yeah, Quags, alright. That's a pretty cool one. But yeah, it is only 52 speed hunt tail, but it does have... Actually, it's a mixed attack. It has 104 attack and 94 special attack, and then 105 defense. So yeah, that's actually not too bad. It's a pretty solid Pokemon, actually. But again, it's much better than Rain though. It's pretty bad 52 speed, at least gets a nice boost. And yeah, Swiss Sim is actually its only ability, so yeah. If you're wearing your best pants, if you don't win, you just don't win. But yeah, I definitely recommend using Rain. I think you can definitely slot in, because I remember its move pull being a little shallow. I guess you can have a quick look at that as well. And here it is, the Deep Sea Scale. That evolves your Clamp Pelt to Gorbis. I believe it also boosts like special defense or something like that. I had large amounts, so yeah. Let's keep using these. Yeah, let's keep using these repels. Route 19 actually has a lot of hidden items too, so yeah, I'm gonna be on the lookout. And here we are, Route 19. I think we're still on Route 20. <laughs> Never mind what I said. So yeah, now we're gonna put Gur in the back. It looks like we're using Arcane with the Sunny Day again. So yeah, I guess we're going to be doing that then. <laughs> so what you got to say? I used to be a fisherman a while back. I've grown to love swimming so much, I'm always in my swim truck. So yeah, let me look. Let me have a quick look at what Huntil learns. Yeah, it gets... I mean, I swing and crunch on bad. It's Stein move pull. It does get Ice Beam too, and again, it can't mix attack. So yeah, those moves aren't like terrible for it. Um, yeah, its coverage is kind of bad. That's alright, so yeah, I guess there's that. He also gets like Sucker Punch via um, Boot Cheater, which is kind of cool. Anyway, that's really all there is to say. So yeah, I'll look at Gorbis now, which I do remember. It's more of a special attacker, actually. Focus is more on that. Yeah, it has 114 special attack, but it still has a good 105 defense. It's still slow at 52 speed. Same by special defense, 84 attack, 55 HP. Yeah, these two aren't very bulky. Which is kind of a problem sometimes, especially because yeah, they can't want the rain up. So either their teammate needs to set the rain or something like that. I wonder how much we can do with Tentacruel, because Tentacruel is a special defense monster, so yeah. And yeah, Gorbis, it lends actually some pretty good special coverage moves, I believe. Like, yeah, it gets some um, psychic fill level up, which is pretty cool. Yeah, we kind of wrecked the Tentacruel, but I get it is much lower level than us, so yeah, that's the reason why we did so much damage to it. So let's try another flamethrower. But yeah, I'm liking the sunny day. It makes actually Arcti pretty good against these water Pokemon. Anyway. Yeah, it gets Psychic Veil level up. It also gets Ice Beam. 
We'll get Shadow Ball 2. Bolt. Uh, get Signal Team for me too. So yeah, pretty decent coverage actually. And Ralph is calling us. And he's been saying more time as Goldie apparently, so yeah. He's saying that. But yeah, definitely in this change, it feels like Corpus is better because, yeah, it just hits harder. And yeah, I feel like yeah, it has more options with special attack too. So yeah. One impressive clash on Chim Badges, we should bow. But yeah, in the next generation, though, things have changed a lot. They learn Baton Pass for the level up, and they also get Shell Smash thanks to Clampel, so. Yeah. <laughs> that definitely changed a lot right there, so yeah. I'm gonna try another something. So yeah. They're very interesting Pokemon. Maybe I'll use. I kinda wanna use one of them one day, so yeah, I might think about that. They went for Thunderbolt, interesting. And yeah, I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna keep going for my Fire Blaster. Considering how much damage you did that tentacle, I think this time she one shot. So I guess we'll see. So yeah, that's the only new Pokemon to talk about here. And again, I need a refresh on it because yeah, Clamble's not a Pokemon I think about every day, and it's kind of a rare Pokemon too. You don't really see it in too many games either. So yeah, again, I really want that refresh. I mean, this person's using multiple Stormies, so that's kind of cool. I think yeah, you might consider this. I think when I was younger. I was thinking, you know what, let's talk about this story. I think when I was younger, I actually made up my own evil team. But it was kind of like designed around myself. I wouldn't even call it an evil team, it's more like, you know... <laughs> it's more like just a team of people that are, that use Pokemon. Like, like, I think I remember one trainer. He only uses Starmies, and all of them use different tactics, I guess. It's kind of interesting, but yeah, I had a lot of like ideas when it comes to that. I think it was called Team Star or something like that. See, that's kind of funny. Because, yeah, my favorite Pokemon is Starmie, and yeah, that was also my ace Pokemon too, so yeah. No. I remember something like that. I think I also had another idea too. Like, yeah. This is when I was, like, really young, so yeah, it doesn't really make much sense. But yeah, I think there was, like, I had an idea of, like, a machine that allows a trainer to stop in any Pokemon or something like that. It's really weird. Like, yeah, this is terminal, you're like, alright, what Pokemon do I want to start with? And then you can get whatever Star Pokemon you want. It's kind of cool. Like, seeing a Star Pokemon, though, yeah, that kind of remind me too. Pokemon XD. What have we got here? I feel so much light and water. I think Pokemon XD has one of the coolest Star Pokemon in the Eevee you get. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting to think about if I do play that one day. Star I actually played XD, even though I really should. I did like Colosseum, so yeah. And yeah, it's just that, yeah, it's a little bit weird to run on the, on the I mean, you need to change like a Sang or something like that. I need to remind myself what that is because my brother had to do that too. I probably need to do this one. But anyway, back to, yeah, talking about that. Um, yeah, again, I do like the fact that you use a Star Search because, yeah. I mean, yeah, the other time where it's a Star is Let's Go Eevee, but it doesn't evolve in that game. It just has some pretty, um, Powerful moves, let's just say. That nah, baseline evolution is just kinda cool, but yeah, being able to, you know, evolve into whatever you want, that basically means that you get more than just three starter options, I guess. It's really cool like that, so yeah. Yeah, Eevee's something I like as a star Pokemon. I guess another idea is having another core, because the yeah, cores. The thing about the stars normally is that um they there's, they're always fire water grass because hmm, Lapras. I think I will try focus blast. There we go. <laughs> Arcti's landing all the attacks today. So because yeah, again, it's a triangle. Fire beats grass. Grass beats water. Water beats fire. You know. But I'm kind of wondering if yeah, I'm pretty sure some fan games have done this, but yeah, there are other triangles to a Pokemon. Oh no. I believe Psychic Ghost... No, it wouldn't be that. It would be Psychic Dark and Finding is another triangle. And I think that's another team core you can design around as well. It's a pretty interesting one. So yeah. I do wonder... I mean, yeah, it's only really in fact it's because again, Fire Water Grass, it just works. All three types are all very good types to have around there. Good against large amount of Pokemon. And yeah, there's some decent utility there as well, so yeah. 
Anyway, it's still on Route 20, and finally we're on Route 19. There's something that I'm set to, so yeah, and like I said, Swarming here is Clamper. And also we can get this. TM55 Brian. Pretty good TM, like I said before. Because I'm pretty sure we could buy that at Serdon. So yeah, let's keep finding some trades. Including <laughs> this funny situation. I'm disgusted by wimpy people. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Got Debbie here with a clam bell. So if I'm flying one of these, uh, I'm a little scared of what this thing could do to me, so I'm gonna go with Nessa. Because it has pretty good physical defense if I'm wearing correctly, so yeah, it's gonna be tough to break, especially if it does that high defense. This is one of the moves Clamper learns that some illusions don't say yeah. I wonder is Clamper one of those Pokemon that only learn a select number of moves? Let me have a look. Oh yeah, it is. It's Clamp, Water Gun, Whirlpool, and Iron Defense. Okay, yeah. So I was right about that. Maybe I should have just stayed in oh, no. Yeah, so Earthquake would have done a lot of damage to that thing. I could be at swimming. See, now we wanna evolve it. It does mean that's kind of bad to use on its own, but hey, it does have those items, I guess, so... It could actually hit back kind of hard. It also does have TMs, don't forget about that. <laughs> Just a little further to Fuchsia. Alright then. <laughs> See, what we got here? We got Tucker here with a shelter. I think we can try and fight that. Again, there are some items, actually some pretty good ones here. I definitely want to be on the lookout for those. Let's uh, pick this thing. So, is there anything else I want to say? Um, yeah, again. I think there's actually more triangles too. When it comes to um, Pokemon as well, but yeah, those are the two main ones. I believe, yeah, you can build your team around those two um, cores. But yeah, let me think. So, Rock Slide. Rock Slide would actually do more damage with Sia. Although, he does have to say there's that. <laughs> But yeah, they want to just keep the firewall press. I'm okay with that. It works very well. It's worked for... Like, yeah, <laughs> it's worked since the beginning. See, I don't like that. And he goes to Spike Gun, which is a move you never see anyone use, so he does that. I mean, it could have skill links so it can hit five times. Let's see. And yeah, that, that looks like the case. But yeah, it's not that good of a move, unfortunately. So yeah, Skill Link is an ability that kind of fell off, I guess, because um, you have the loaded dice now, so now you can run Technician and the loaded dice, and you can get, like, the best of both worlds, basically. I'm drowning. Loaded dice basically makes this, uh, yeah, you hit four to five times, basically. That's kind of what it does. Again, it kind of reminds me of something in Final Fantasy VI, actually, now I think about it. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's something else I can talk about a little bit. Like, yeah, in Final Fantasy VI, there's Setsa, and Setsa's kind of notable, I think. Elsa, have you ever gone swimming in the sea at night? Nah, that sounds dangerous. But anyway. <laughs> so yeah, so the thing about Setsa is I'm pretty sure he's the first character from Final Fantasy VI to appear in um, Kingdom Hearts. I think that's true, I'm not so sure, but yeah. That's kind of interesting, because you'd think that it would be like Terra or Lot, because they're kind of like the main characters. Although yeah, the thing about Final Fantasy VI is he wants the main character. That's kind of the game's MO, even though it kind of doesn't work out like that. Final Fantasy VI is kind of interesting game though. I wouldn't mind playing on the channel actually, but I'm not so sure which version. It will probably be the GBA version, although I don't actually like recording the GBA as much as the SNES, so yeah, that's kind of one reason why I'm a bit debating on that <laughs> club. But yeah, if I do want to do a Final Fantasy game, it actually might be 6. Because yeah, I started with 6, so it can't be fitting, so yeah. But yeah, set to, yeah, his best weapon is the lure dice. Because yeah, the damage, I believe it like pisses defense or something like that because the heart's calculated, so yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh yeah, that's actually the last trainer. So yeah, we're almost done here. And we'll have a nice lengthy part, so that's good. Last couple of parts have been cut short. Swimming? I'm lousy, I'm just splashing around these shallow waters. It's kind of funny. But yeah, uh, I guess I can keep talking about this. So yeah, again, set so yeah, I really like the little dice, but yeah, there's something kind of funny though in the SDS version. Because I believe with an item called the Merit Award, other people can 
I put the low dice, so if you give it to Gal and he uses the cat scratch with the low dice, yeah, you basically hit 9999 with like every attack, it's kind of ridiculous, so yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah, the Merit Award, or whatever it's called, um, yeah, that I was very broken at Gal, and then the, uh, in the GBA version, they nerfed it basically, so yeah. And again, Gal is my favorite character, or favorite, um, yeah, idea. I mean, I don't know. He's not really a character. He's more like, you know, he's all about the game, like, which is kind of why I like him a lot. That's why I liked him a lot when I played Far Place 6, because, you know, I wasn't really thinking about the plot too much. Even though I actually like the plot, it's kind of interesting. Hey, Poison Trap. They don't even talk about that move when he glides the TM. It's actually really nice. It's like 80 power physical. It's basically, if you really don't like gunk shots accuracy, you feel like you missed too much with it, the Poison Trap is the nice substitute. But yeah, uh, you only really want to go to your Poison types though, because he, uh, again, Poison's only good against Grass. So unless your Pokemon's weak to Grass, it doesn't really want to use it. There's last gonna be Goldie. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna give a nice Earthquake. And yeah, now you just need to look at these nines, and yeah, that will be a good part. There's actually quite a few of them, and I'm gonna assume that some of them are on the beach, so yeah. And if some of them are on the other side of Fuchsia, we'll get them at the end, so yeah. And then we'll check the sea, and then yeah, we should be good. I thought I could win. Not if you like splashing around like you were saying earlier, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, this part went also kind of in some weird directions. But yeah, I had some very weird thoughts as a kid. But I think most people did. Like, they, like your imagination does feel a lot bigger when you're a kid. I guess that's why, um... I mean, yeah, that's weird too, because, yeah, I was like, yeah... Again, I got into Pokemon around when I was in my low 10s, so yeah. It's kind of weird I was thinking about stuff like that at that time. But I mean, found a pearl. I forget... I think if you... I don't remember these roadworks always being here. Maybe if you beat the gym, um, they get removed, I'm not so sure. Or maybe it's just, again, I haven't played, um, this game in a long time, so that's probably the reason why. Alright, all the hidden items are here, because I, if I remember correctly, I saw four hidden items. So let's have a look. Um, there's actually some more hidden items, I think. Let's see it again. I'm gonna go check the water, just in case. But yeah, we know there's a hidden item on the fuchsia side, so yeah, we'll go get that at the end. Alright. Yep, there's a nine around here. Around here, I think. Alright, so where this was. A big pearl, very nice. And that should be it, I think, for the hidden arms on this side now, and you go back to Fuchsia. But yeah, get out the old truck. And then we should be good on yeah, hidden arms. <laughs> I can't wait for Gen 5 too. I've actually been thinking about ideas for a Gen 5 playthrough, but again, I want to weigh on that because yeah, this playthrough has been decently long. I can't want to go back to, of course, Farm. Again, most likely it'll be Revolution. That's what I planned, and hopefully it'll go alright. I'm just a little bit worried about something that happened a little bit ago, so yeah. See, now the other items on the other side, it may need rock search too. I guess we'll figure that one out. In fact, I'll, I'm just gonna get the rock search out immediately because I think we're gonna need it. The interesting thing about using rock search in Route 19 is that you can get shards, and there is a shard person around it too, so yeah. But yeah, Blaine, yeah, they're gonna be taking on the next part. He's gonna be interesting because, um, my two fire-type answers are interesting, to say the least, so yeah. Because you have Nesso who doesn't resist fire, and then you have Quake, who doesn't take fire special hits that well, so yeah, I'm a little bit worried. But, we'll see. It's probably gonna be one of the rougher gym battles, I feel like. But then again, we also have Chickpea. If Chickpea is able to set the Sword Stance, they could also do well, but yeah, I doubt they're gonna do much. Because of the fire weakness. So yeah, let's have a look. And yeah, I was right to do this. So yeah. Let's get that Rock Smash. 
And we did fine line. Our hearts go very nice. Can never go wrong with those. And yeah, I think I'm staying on the hidden item. Yup. <laughs> Revive, very nice. Are there any other hidden items? Apparently no. So yeah, that's good to know. So there's another hidden item there, but yeah. Not so sure what that's all about. Maybe I have to come back earlier. Or maybe it's related to something else, I'm not so sure. Anyway, I'm just going to take what I got. I got with that revise, so yeah. And now, yeah, we're just going to put away... Um, gold up for the time being. And yeah, this is going to be the squad. Go into the gym. We're actually decently leveled, I think. This gym is slightly higher leveled, so yeah. It definitely feels like you're supposed to take the one currently, so yeah. Alrighty then. So yeah, we're done. For this part, we... Unraveled the mystery of the room's mouth. We took down Route 19 and Route 20, and we found out where Blaine's new gym is. Of course, it's on this side of Cinnabar Island. So yeah, or well, this entrance, it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, basically you go here, and then you go to Sea and then there you go find it. And yeah, we also checked out the Sea Fermines too. Oh yeah, so I want to do one more thing in this part. I think I will do this one more thing because I remembered it in this part. We want to go back to where... We basically want to go to Saffron or Vermilion. I also need to go heal my Pokemon. Basically, we want to go to Route 6, I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, there's one area I haven't actually checked out now that the power plot is back online. And that is... Going up. It is this. The um, underground path. Let's go check it out. And I'll go see if there's anything nice. This fire is very remote. It's also not that useful because, again, you can just... It's very easy to just explore this region without, you know... <laughs> it's very easy to explore this region without, you know, needing this, but anyway. So this is the correct one. And you have... No hidden items, sir. Unlike the original. Apparently, um, yeah, Nessa doesn't mind this place too much. This is the guy I'm interested in. I think he is. Don't be afraid, I'm not a bad person. A place like this attracts mean people. They would eventually cause trouble. It makes me mad just thinking about it. Ah, oh, aha, that's a range candy bar. Can I have it, please? Sure. This is who we go to. How upsetting. But this is so good. Ah, oh, it makes me mad. Ah! Phew. I'm feeling much better. Thank you for your candy. I want you to have this. TM64. And yeah, it should be... You, it should be easy to figure out uh, why I remembered this. TM64 contains... Kaboom! There you go. <laughs> kind of reminds of Earthbound too. There's a lot of... Well, there's one enemy in Earthbound that does this. But basically, I mean, I don't want to talk to that NPC. I think I'll do that. It's like the monster pump or whatever it's called. It's in Moonside. Many cities of Joe have long histories. I'd love to visit. So there you go. That's the underground path. This is the only underground path available. The other one's been shut down. So yeah. There yeah. I forget what it's called, but yeah, it's in Fort or Moonside. And it counts down. It goes 3, 2, 1, and it explodes. And yeah. This is a roundabout saying that, yeah, Team 64 is explosion. Much easier to get in this game when compared to Platinum, because in Platinum you had to be good in the slots, so, um, yeah. And, yeah, does that mean you can't get it in the non-slot machine versions of Platinum? I'm not so sure, but anyway. At least you can get it here, so no problems there. But anyway, finally done with the spot. Yeah, like I said, we checked out the rooms above. We explored Route 19 and Route 20. And, yeah, we found out where Blaine's gym is, so yeah, next time we're going to be taking the fight to Blaine. So yeah, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that trip.